Previously on the district. Crime's out on the street, not in my office. Why don't you ask for help? Can I get 25 officers who speak Spanish assigned to my detail by tomorrow? Because these thugs are kids. You want me to ask for help? Where do I start, sir? With me. What do you think about Rico? Organized Crime Act? Worked in New York to help bring down the mob. She left that for me. I would take the money, I'd put it into an executor account. And while it's sitting in there, earning interest, Maria is going to get into a drug rehabilitation program. In this one class, the money gets forfeit. The entire inheritance I will give to charity. Who the hell is he? Guess the tipo key. It's mi amigo. That's some puerco. Marcate. Marcate. Exactly how many guys have a key to your apartment? He's my brother. You know, honey, if I retired, I mean, we're bringing a new life into the world. Maybe it's time for me to just go home and look after her and you. I need you there, all right? I can't do this without you. All right, we run the race. I make my mind up at the end of it. Deal? Deal. Deal. Let's go deeper. Lateral to the posterior fissure. Suction. Uh, Deputy Chief Noland uh, been in surgery for half an hour. He's in critical, stable condition, but uh, knowing Joe as well as I do, he's going to be all right. He's losing a lot of blood. Clear the field. I need a Kelly clamp. I'd like to thank all of you that have given blood, and if you haven't, I'll well, make, make every effort. Sponge stick. We believe the shooter was a member of the MLB. Right. Probably in retaliation for our case that we're making against him, the RICO case. I want something understood. We're going to double the power shift, double deployment in the southeast, northwest districts. Section. Retract superiorly. I don't want any officer riding 1099, and I don't want anybody out there on the street without their bulletproof vest. Is that understood? Now, I want these guys brought in. I don't care if they're out there loitering, uh, open container, littering, if they've cloned a cell phone or two. I don't, I, I don't care if they don't, they're riding their bike without a bell. I want them brought in. I want to know who they know and what they know. OK, I see it. Just pray for, for Joe's recovery. We're at war. And I don't want any mistake made about that. Chief Nolan is still in surgery as officers comb the crime scene for any evidence that might lead to the identity of the young man they say shot the MPD second to command. us all is how one officer described the deputy chief. Reporting on the scene. Talking about him, he's already dead. Hey, Scotty, yeah. I need to set up a new press area and make a perimeter about 20 feet back. Gotta put him in front of that guy's door. Scotty, I do not care. Please, just do it. All right? 
Everybody, take all your equipment and move it across the street. All right? Hey, how you doing? Hey, I just heard. Yeah, I think he's going to be okay. Be careful. Don't be a superhero, okay? Wear a vest. I will. I love you. And you don't have to say it back. I got to go. Hey, Nancy. What do you got? Uh, Chief Manion described the shooter as Latino, 16 to 18 years old, approximately 5'9", dark hair, dark eyes. Same description from two other witnesses. One woman did see a tattoo on the suspect's neck. What about Mendoza? Could he ID the shooter? No, didn't get a good look. Did you get anything off that surveillance camera? No, it's a phony. Restaurant owners couldn't afford the hookup, so they just mounted the camera and thought it was enough. Paramedics said the deputy chief couldn't feel anything. Can't move his legs. He'll be all right. I don't know anyone tougher. Paso, amigos. He saw you missed. Come get me now. Vamos, mátame ahorita. Cobardes. So take your shot right now because this is the last chance you get before I take each and every one of you out. Get in the car. Get in the car, will you? You meant to shoot me, not the deputy chief. What's wrong with you? Look, you can use me as bait. Damn car. Get him out of here. Yeah, Nancy, in looking at the sketch, I, I think the jaw was rounder, the uh, eyes were smaller, and he had a widow's speak. All right, as soon as the sketch artist is uh, finished with the changes, have him fax them over to me. Yep. Thanks. Jack, why won't they tell us something? I feel like I've been here for two days. Well, how about I make you a cup of coffee? No, thank you. I used to worry about this when we were younger. Joe being shot. I thought about it a lot. You know, when he was a rookie walking the beat and you think it's promoted and I figured the odds that it would never happen. I mean, what the hell was he doing out there today? Yeah. He's, he spent a lot of time and energy trying not to like you. I'm sure you were the demise of the police department. And Jack, now he would take a bullet for you. Oh, I'd do the same for him. I Dave. know. Oh, God, I'm so scared. It's going to be okay. I really think so. You think so? Yes, oh. I do. Oh, how is he? Can I see him? We're about to move him to recovery, and he's still under anesthesia, so it will be a while. I thought you'd need this. Oh, you got the bullet out. Thank goodness. It's only part of the bullet. Mrs. Nolan, you have some decisions to make. The bullet caught a rib on the way in, splintered. There's still a fragment very close to the spinal cord. Is that why he said he, he couldn't feel his leg? Joe said he could not feel his legs. There could be temporary paralysis caused by swelling and pressure to the spinal cord. You say he can't, he won't be able to walk again? It's way too early for any definite prognosis. There is substantial internal bleeding. Can you stop it? Not until the fragment is removed. But it's a very dangerous procedure. There's only one doctor I trust with this, Dr. Neil Fisk. But he's not available. He works out of Walter Reed. He's on Air Force One covering presidential detail. How much time do we have? Your husband is a strong man. But if I go in there and stop the bleeding, and the fragment moves. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. All right, I'm gonna need six hours. Can you give me six hours? Give me six hours. All right? All right? Okay. Come on now. Okay. This is your gun, Dante. Man, this is profiling, Essie. Eh? You can't just pick up every Latino off the street because he's carrying a Glock and suppose he shot some cop. Tell me about your tattoo. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. Not every tattoo is gang related. You can see this one's on my hand. It's not on my neck. Why don't you pick up some street knowledge and stop abusing people's rights? Especially the ones who are minding their own business like me. How about I just abuse you? <clears throat> Get off me, man. <clears throat> we got a description of the shooter. Dark eyes, your height, same stupid grin. <laughs> Hey, you got a Glock and no concrete alibi, my friend. Sounds to me like you walked in facing possession of concealed weapon charges. 
And now you're looking at attempted murder. What's wrong, Dante? Nothing to smile about, huh? You okay? I'm fine. Just trying not to pass out. I hate looking at this thing sticking in my arm. Uh, who are you telling? Ever since I was a kid, I can't stand needles. I just can't wait till we get out of here so we can go round up those punks. Hey, hold on there, cowboy. I mean, now just a second ago, you crying out for your mommy because you can't watch the needle. Yeah, well, what else are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to wait for them to bring it to us? No, let's bring it to them. Everybody's better off if we do. You're next. Me? You know, you sound like you got some unresolved anger there, Phil. Yeah. Looks like half the department's out there. Shows you what kind of man the deputy chief is. I, mean, I always say, there's your family, and then there's the MPD, your second family. Hey, no other job has that. Brad, my uh, last week as acting chief, I'm going to exercise the privilege of the office. I am reinstating you. Thank you, sir. No. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, can we just try relax? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Uh, uh, mm. Relax your arms. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> Tell me to breathe. I'm breathing. I'm good, Phil. I mean, yeah. yeah, I'm fine over here. These are the president's scheduled campaign stops for today and tomorrow. Air Force One doesn't return to the D.C. area for the next two days. And Dr. Fisk, he's traveling with the president for the next week. Well, no, that's not good enough, Ferris. I need to talk to him. I need him here. Well, sir, I've left messages with his medical office and with the White House operator. That's as far as I could get. Now, Chief Nolan's going to be okay, right? Well, you and I are going to make sure he is. But there's something... We're going about this all wrong. Sir, I'm trying no, no, to no, no, wait a minute. It's a brilliance. It's for me here, sir. You know who the most important person in the precinct is? You are, sir. Not wrong. You are. You want to know why? Yes. Because you control me. I wish someone had told me. No, first, listen. As my secretary, Personal you have... assistant. What? Personal assistant. Right, what? You control who I talk to, who I see, when I do it, what I do, what, where, when, and who. More importantly, you control the flow of information. And more important than that, you can prioritize that information and present it to me in a, in a manner that you deem is accessible. So? So get me the president's secretary. Personal assistant. I told you about that word, secretary. Don't get testy. Yeah, I'm saving that for my husband. Uh, is he coming right now or right away? Or... Yeah. Never mind. I'm only going to be a minute. Um, I'm Jack Manny, Chief of Police here in Washington, D.C. I'd like you to get this note to the president. Shh. Sorry. You're the Chief of Police. I'm sure once the president returns, you can schedule No, I don't have that kind of time. Uh, I need to get this note to him right away. I need to see Dr. Dr. Fisk as soon as I can. Thank you. Do you know any of these good-looking guys here? They're all MLV. The crew you hang with? No? What about this one? I don't know him. I think you do. Armando's dead. He was my only connection to whatever it is you think is going on. Can I go now? No. I want you to give me the name of some of Armando's friends. I told you I don't know anyone else. Armando was MLV. Do you really expect me to believe that he's the only one of them that you knew? Yeah. Can I go now? No. Why don't you sit here and think about that for a while?
Gangs recruit so fast now. I haven't had a chance to put all these into the system yet. It's not even close. I have more photos. I got a lot of the new MLD gang members here. Plus, I got a lot of the brothers, sisters, mothers. We got a hit on a slug pulled from Chief Nolan. It matches one fired at the clerk in the Kingman Heights convenience store robbery last year. Any other robberies? No. Kingman Heights? That's J Street gang territory. That's it. J Street gave that turf to MLV. How do you mean gave? Polite for gang war. No. They run these crews like corporations now, man. Mergers, acquisitions. These guys make deals with the ultimate goal of building a stronger cartel. J Street doesn't exist anymore because they joined MLV. That's it. It's a match. Tico Rodriguez. That's a sister. Prostitute. Maria. Her street name is Kashmir Brown. I lost track of her. But it looks like her little brother may be our shooter. Afternoon. Uh, first of all, we have uh, been able to identify our suspect. His name is Tico Rodriguez. He's a member of MLB. We'll be making this photo available to our public information officers. We would appreciate any information leading to his apprehension and arrest. We are offering a $25,000 reward for, for that information. Second of all, Deputy Chief Joseph Nolan is in critical but stable condition. And I'm sure you know that uh, our prayers and the prayers of the community are with his family for a speedy recovery. So that's all we have at this point. To recap, Tico Rodriguez heads Chief Mangan's most wanted list of the recent shooting of Deputy Chief Nolan. Thank you, Barry, for that. Did bring you any else here? Where is he? He wouldn't do something like that. Tell me you? where he is, Maria. I don't know. Is there a problem here? Not if you turn and walk away. When was the last time you saw Tico? Last night. He came over after he left. He just grabbed his stuff and he took off. What about the rest of your family? If he was in trouble, he wouldn't go there. It's too dangerous. He knows that. Don't protect him, Maria. I don't know where he is, Kevin. Well, would you tell me if you did? How many times do I have to tell you I don't know where he is? I need to know where he hangs out, who his friends are, phone numbers, anything else you might know. Get your coat. We're out of here. No. What, suddenly I'm your confidential informant? I can't believe you're trying to ask me to help you find him. Your brother shot a cop, Maria. You don't know that. Leave, because I'm not telling you anything else. Turn around. I said turn around. You are a bastard. What are y'all looking at? You know, Kashmir, I could sit here like this with you all day. Then we will, because I'm not talking until I can speak to Chief Mannion. Tico's your brother, right? We're not that close. He has his mail sent to your address. He has keys to your apartment. I'd say you're close. You really mean to tell me he didn't tell you anything? You know, my partner might be buying this whole I've changed act, but you and I both know that deep down, you're still nothing but trash. Get out of my face. Come on. This part. must be weird for you. Why well, would it be weird? It's the job, Nancy. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah. I guess if you keep telling yourself that, maybe you'll get over her. I want to get out of here. I want all my money, all of it. That wasn't our deal, Maria. You get 5000 a week until it's gone. Screw the deal. I'm not your little girl, and you're not my father. I want Tico. It's my money! My friend left it to me! that you want and I, i'm off the streets i'm clean i got a good job i went back to school i want my money and i want to get out of here and i want tico you know where he is you tell me you give him up it's the only way i can protect him I'll protect him you think he shot a cop he's dead before anyone yells freeze you want money you give up tico it's a twenty five thousand dollar reward I don't care who you are. Don't you dare offer me money like I'm a whore to betray hey! my brother! What do you think this is? A game? It's not Your a brother game. shot a cop! My friend! 
Joe Nolan. I don't know where he is. Then find out. I don't know how to find out. You find him. Oh. I can't hold her. You and Temple stay with her. Chico's out there, he's running scared. Maybe we'll get lucky. He'll run the family. Mind if we come in and take a look around? Actually, yeah, I do mind. It's for your own safety. I'm a big girl. Your father's a strong man. You know that? Hi. Did you find Dr. Fisk? No, we're looking. A lot of people looking. Thank you. We shouldn't wait, Mom. We should stop the bleeding and not take the risk. You think that's what your father would do? I just don't know why he's making all the decisions. I mean, if you think about it, he's the reason Dad's here in the first place. Brent! Jack, I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't apologize for me. You know I'm right. Ten months ago, Dad was on his way out the door. He was retiring. He was looking forward to collecting his pension and spending time with all of us. And then you came back and you manipulated him. You knew how much he loved that job and you used that. And look at him now. Look at my dad. I asked your father to come work for me for two reasons. One, he's probably the best cop I've ever known. And two, there's no way I can manipulate that man. You think your dad would be standing here right now trying to find someone to blame? I don't think so. I think he'd be out there chasing the bad guys. You better start growing up, son. Gail. He's right. You really think Tico would be dumb enough to come back here? Never. Underestimate the stupidity of a criminal. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I remember I brought this kid in for auto theft and the judge released him on bail. Oh boy, let's see what it is. <laughs> the kid forgot his bus money. Stole the assistant DA's car from the parking lot, drove himself home. Home. <laughs> I knock on the door. There he is watching people's court. I don't know where Chico is, okay? <laughs> we believe you. Sort of. So this is it? Just sit around and watch me all day and night? It's a living. I have work to do, so don't bother me. You know the man your brother shot has a family? A wife? Four kids and even a cute little girl. You know, you don't know that my brother did anything wrong. I don't expect you to want to help the police. And I sure don't expect you to want to help me. Truth is, it's not about us or the past. It's about what's right and what's wrong and what's going on right now. I got a brother too, but the law is the law. So you better just tell me where he's at. You 
eventually I'm gonna get it. But I gotta admit, I do sympathize with you. I'm gonna choose between your brother and your boyfriend. So I'm out of here now. If you hear from him, give me a call. We'll be back in a couple of hours. <laughs> You're a foot soldier. You take orders. Who ordered the hit? Stop yanking our chain, Tico. We know you understand us. Hell, we know you speak English. I suppose you know everything since you're banging my sister. You ain't the first pig she's been with, you know? That's her thing. Stupid ass cops. Who put the hit out on Mendoza? Mendoza put the hit on Mendoza. You want something? You gotta give up something. I want a deal. Ah. Cop killers don't get deals. Ah. And you attack one of us, you attack all of us. You screwed up, Tico. Says you? No. Says your boy's out on the street. You bought too much heat down on your gang. They gave you a job to do. You couldn't do it. You shot the wrong cop, and he's still alive. I ain't got nothing to say. Worst thing you can do is put me in a cell and put a lock on it. That's it, come on. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. What is it? Where is it? Top down. They advertise our code like a badge of honor. Problem is, this kid Tico, he's a hero now. No matter what happens to him, he's the one they're all going to want to emulate. For shooting the cop. Pop the trunk. What? Pop the trunk. What are you doing, Phil? City a new wall. Worth every penny. Dr. Fisk, this is Deputy Chief Nolan's wife, Gail. Thank you so very much. And I believe you know Chief Mannion. How do you do? Extraordinary situations ask great men to bear great responsibility and offer even greater generosity. I wish I had a friend like you. Who's your anesthesiologist on call? Dr. Lloyd. Tell her to scrub. I want to see him before it goes in. Absolutely. Thank you. Hey, hey, huh? You're right, baby. I was watching Ashley. My mother. Mm -hmm. Chief, I was watching headquarters. Nobody. We're just following your lead, Joe. 
Everybody's on vacation. <laughs> well, we got the shooter. Everything's going to be all right. We'll be here. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you too, honey. Hey, wait. They're sending the big dog after me now, huh? Mm. Yeah, it's because you're special. When I was with the NYPD, we used uh, the underpass at Park Avenue South. And uh, Port Authority, they used an old elevator. But when I was in transit, we had this locker room underneath the subway where nobody could hear him scream. You know what we called it? We called it the room. The blood room. But that was the old days. Fine. You don't do things the way they did in the old days. Not quite. We've refined the process. See, I don't have to lay a hand on you. I mean, you look healthy and well fed and all that. There's not a mark on you. You got, you got no marks. You got no bruises. I mean, except for the, the knee thing. Which knee was that? This one. Yeah, well, nobody's gonna see that, unless your pants are down. But then, ooh. So, what are people gonna think? They're gonna think you cut a deal. I don't make deals. My boys know that. Your boys? Well, we rounded them up a couple hours ago. Marco, he's pissed. Now, he doesn't like jail food, huh? I'm sure uh, a few of them got bounced around on their way in. They're going to see you all clean and pretty. What are they going to think? One minute, you get arrested. The next minute, they're in lockup. You, you can't do this to me. I am doing it to you. Everybody knows what happens to a guy who shoots a cop. If that didn't happen to you, what are they going to think? You cut a deal to save your own ass. Probably protect you, Tico. And get you transferred to an area where you have more than one day lifespan. I want you to think about it for a minute. You think about it, and then you tell me who gave the order to shoot Mendoza. named Ruben Martinez Salvador. One of the heads of MLV. Loco Salvador. He's already in prison doing five to ten. I put this guy away. I told him I'd be there when he got out, put him back in again. Last I heard, he was doing time in solitary. He's running MLV from the bank. The bank? No visitors in or out, no phone calls, no mail, no nothing. Just him and a thick wall. For 23 hours, he's in isolation. The other hour, he gets to walk outside alone, supervised by a guard. He still manages to get orders out to his gang. Maybe Tico sold us a bum steer, buying time. I don't think Tico is lying. Tell you what, let's go for a drive. What are we looking at? What kind of money do you think prison guards make these days, anyway? Boy, this is a nice outfit, isn't it? There are more expensive cars over there. BMW, a couple of Mercedes. Well, that's where the warden and his staff park, you know, the Foffingtons. The big cheese. May I see your invitation, please, people are up over there. This is where the infantry is, right here, Paris. There's nothing special about this car. Well, I don't know. Look at these rims and the, and the tires. That's a pretty penny right there. That leather upholstery. GPS, come on. I mean, wood paneling there. 
So you're saying, how can a guard afford this on their salary? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. It's been messed with, the VIN number. Do you have a compact mirror in your purse? Yeah. Do you have any duct tape? Do you have duct tape in your purse? What did I tell you? Stolen! He can fool some of the people some of the time, but not all the people some of the time. Anyway, two numbers don't match. The number under here is different than the one in the dash. It's got to be part of the MLV auto theft ring. Whoever owns this car has got to be Salvador's connection to his outside gang. So you're the bastard that's got the guards in here tossing my cell. Well, I've got a problem with that. Well, I got a problem with uh, the fact that you ordered a hit on Gus Mendoza. Mendoza? I haven't thought about that cell out in a long time. I'm in lockup, man. There's no way I could have ordered that hit even if I wanted to. I mean, not that I'd mind if that bastard caught a bullet. Did he die? No. But you will. You're in prison. When that five to ten, that easy five to ten, has changed to a life sentence. Says who? You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about Ramon Aquaro. Kids like Ramon. They come here looking for a dream. And they run into people like you and MLV. That's what I'm talking about. Without their hermanos, where would they be, huh? I did them a favor. I saved them. Yeah, saved them from what? Life on the streets? A life that you lived? What'd you do? You taught them how to steal any and everything, right? Just to get by. How to steal cars, sell dope, sell their bodies. They ring a bell, huh? Does that sound familiar? I'm gonna do everything I can. Use Rico, whatever it takes to take you and your little enterprise down. One by one by one. Chief? We got a name on that wannabe Foppington in the parking lot. Thanks, guys. Charles Barstow. Yeah? You're under arrest for possession of stolen property and conspiracy to commit murder. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and to have an attorney present here and question you. His name is Ramon. You never met him. But guess what? Me and Ramon, we got you. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should your heart be broken? His eyes along the sparrow And I know he watches me His eyes along the sparrow And I know he watches you <laughs> Hey. hey there. How are you feeling? <laughs> you are a beautiful woman. Oh, they got the bullet, Joe. All of it. What are you singing that song for? Me or that gangly monster over there <laughs> in the corner? I heard that. He's been there for hours. I can see why that man's been divorced three times. He is an ugly-looking sleeper. I hear, I hear all that. I, I super sensitive cop hearing. Ooh, that is my baby, my baby. Hey, son. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Oh, the oh, baby girl. She just wake up. Yeah, I mean, it's a white baby. That's okay. <laughs> That's baby. Honey, have you been uh, able to eat yet? Honey, they just give me ice chips. Nurses are nice, huh? Oh, please. 
who could do this. For richer, for poorer, I do. In sickness and in health, I do. Hmm? Mom. Look. Oh, my God. Look, Joe. Can you see this, Joe? My precious sweet baby is walking. Look at her. Oh, honey. I see you, Jack. <laughs> I can see it walking. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Set your reminders now, actioneers. Jack Mannion faces the music this Monday at 6 p.m. when the district reaches a sensational season finale. Find out more at cbsaction.co.uk. Right now, though, we serve a feature slice of a pie called Cult Classic. Dr. Sloan suspects an old flame might have murdered a U.S. senator. In Vintage Diagnosis Murder next. <laughs>